What's up? Thank you for grabbing the Super Chrome Design Pack. I really appreciate your support. Uh, this video is just going to be me walking through the pack and kind of letting you know all the little tiny tips and tricks and just how to get the most out of it pretty much. So the first thing we're going to do is check out the templates. This is like the bread and butter of the pack. Definitely my favorite templates, definitely for like text I've ever done. And yeah, so this first one I included two. This one is going to have that kind of more of a retro look. It's going to have um, the chrome reflections and all this kind of like nice little goodness. So everything is labeled over to the right. We'll just kind of go from top to bottom basically. So I've included these little flares that you can kind of just place yourself. I kind of just put them on like the lightest parts of the image. Pretty self-explanatory. I have the opacity down a little bit, but basically that's just to taste and you know, it might not work for every design. Next we have the different gradients. So if you are just downloading the pack, you can go to the gradient, um, the gradients in the pack and there's instructions here for how to install them and everything but basically this one will already be in the template but you can click this plus button here and you should be able to add those presets and so that's the beauty of this template really is we can go through all these different types of chrome basically and so i grabbed these from all sorts of like 70s and 80s airbrush images and a lot of really cool sources but I think there's a really good starting point in here. And the cool part about these is I think you can really actually make them your own. So basically you can kind of see how the color works and how these chrome gradients are made. So it's actually pretty easy to just go in and like maybe find some something that works specifically for what you're doing or yeah, just basically using these as a starting off point. So the intensity here, this is going to control how much the gradient is kind of compressed or not compressed. You can see it can get really extreme. You can go brighter and darker. This will kind of just adjust where it is on the placement of the text. So yep, that's what that slider does. We have a few different extra details in here. This waviness adjustment, you can just adjust the opacity like this to get it more or less wavy. And it's kind of just mimicking a landscape basically. And yeah, everything is live, which means, let's turn off these flares for a second. You can type everything and it'll appear right away. What's also really useful with these is that you can use them not with just text, but with the graphics that are in the pack. So let's say, for example, we want to use, let's see what would look good with this. Let's try the heart. Drag it in. All you need to do is make sure it's in the design here folder and let's hide the text for now. And boom, you'll have the effect applied to whatever you put in here. So these, again, like I just kind of want these to be a starting point, but if you're gonna des design your own illustrations and everything and graphics, then you can really kind of harness the full power of this pack. But yeah, so that's how this template works. I'm gonna open up the other template. So this one is going to be a little bit more of like a modern look, definitely less retro, kind of a glassy, shining kind of look we got here. And so just a little tip too that's really helpful, this also has the flares, is that I think a lot of the time thinner things look good, like thinner fonts and lettering look the best just because of how the gradient applies. But that's not to say, you know, something thicker like this doesn't look really cool. Actually, it does here. So it's definitely a trial and error and kind of just messing around with. That's the beauty of these packs. So yeah, so this has a few slightly different controls just because it's created differently. But what we're going to do is you can do this color adjust. It's got this colorize check right here. And basically what that's going to do is add the color to your gradient. So we can do like a gold, for example, like this is would look pretty good. And you can really just mess around with these sliders here, the saturation, hue saturation to get different looks. It's pretty powerful and you can definitely, you know, use it to your liking and use it to whatever application you're using. This also, similarly, we have a slider to adjust the brightness and contrast. And this is just a basic, you know, brightness and contrast slider. So it's just affecting how the layer or the gradient map is being kind of applied to the to the text. And yeah, basically same exact thing in terms of it being live, you can do whatever you want here. And then also is going to look really good with these graphics again. So let's try one that'll look good on this one, something with thinner lines, like I said. Let's do, let's try this 80s sunset. Let's see what this looks like. Actually, no, I take it back. I want to try this spiky barbed wire type thing. So yeah. 
I think it looks sick. Combining things with text is definitely, you can kind of just mess around with a lot of different stuff. We can do, let's see, one of these star borders. Let's try. And this will be really good for like creating graphics, for example. So this is a good example of maybe how you can, can combine different elements. So let's say we have this and we wanna do like a cool A logo. So let's put this A in here. Let's find a good, nice A. I don't know, I'm doing this on the fly, but definitely take some trial, trial and error. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is the, the best example ever, but I think it still looks cool, yeah. Basically, it's made to mess around with. That's the whole beauty of it. And yeah, so that's the main difference between these two is this one's a little bit more of like a shiny modern chrome effect. We already discussed the gradients and how to install. Instructions are in here. The last cool element is the textures. These can definitely be applied, I think, actually in the templates as like a background. And one additional thing actually about these is that this background is kind of clickable and you can change this. I really like this, this effect with a bright background, I think looks really sick, especially if we bring this brightness and contrast down is definitely a really cool look. But yeah, definitely mess around with it, let's say. Andre. Definitely a really cool look. So yeah, these are all photographed custom Chrome templates that I used this like kind of Chrome paper with to get all these cool different effects and I projected different things onto it. So let's see, for example, this is a cool use of it. I think like with all the textures in my packs, they combine really well with the elements in the other elements in the pack and also can be used in a lot of different ways. So if you just want to use it as a texture like this, that works. Or we could, let's say, like apply some of the gradient presets on top of it. So this is even just a black and white gradient just looks sick immediately. Reverse it, mess around with it. Let's try some of these gradient presets. Yeah, just kind of cool colors. It's really just all about messing around with all the different elements. So I think these Chrome things work a little bit better with the text, but regardless, I'm sure you guys will be able to find some cool uses for all of this stuff. Yeah, that's basically the pack. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments here. You can always DM me. Yeah, really excited for you to be able to mess around with this and definitely tag me in anything you make with it. I would say also like this is perfect for video kind of like graphics, like title cards, album art. There's a lot of different uses that I would be kind of getting out of this. And like all my other packs, like I use this stuff in my work. So I'm really excited to do some projects with it. But yeah, again, I really appreciate you supporting and I hope you have fun playing around with this. Thank you.